Rod Hembry is very well known to a lot of us. And to a lot of you, you may not have realized that he was behind the scenes well known to you. For about seven years, he was the senior producer of 100 Huntley Street, about a decade or so ago. But uh, a lot of you know him as host of Quick Study, which is uh, being viewed in about 300 stations around the world. And he has a number of other um, television and internet um, involvements that we're going to talk about. But he really represents what I call next generation broadcasting and broadcaster. Welcome, Rod. Thank you, Jim. It's a pleasure to have you. You and I are old friends. And Indeed, we are. <laughs> yes. yes, we are. We are old friends. <laughs> first, first of all, I, you know, I, I have to say, um, I had the honor of um, uh, moderating a memorial service for your father a few weeks ago, and uh, there was a great crowd of people there. I was very touched and moved by the whole event. Uh, I'm just wondering how you're doing with your father, Ron Hembry, no longer with us, but with the Lord. It was a shock, of course, on June 10th when that happened. As Jim, as the uh, first of all, thank you for doing that. Mm -hmm. I, I, when I called you, I said I need a little help from my friends, and <laughs> and of course, uh, you helped me tremendously mm -hmm. by doing that. As the as the waves of sorrow have settled, and as the tide of grief has moved back, mm -hmm. uh, I have noticed uh, a profound and uh, shocking, stunning design uh, surrounding the passing of my father. Uh, down to little details, when we were down there, of course, the whole day, we taped, uh, going through Isaiah, going through Proverbs, Psalm, and then the first part of Isaiah. And the whole family was there with him. And it was an odd event because I, I usually am behind the scenes producing and then hosting my segments. But that day we were short, and so we brought the family in, and I was on a camera. So during the day, the whole taping, I was with Dad. I'd be taping on the camera during breaks. I'd go over, we'd joke around, talk about theology, talk about God, solve the problems of the world. <laughs> uh, and then I'd come back, and, and we'd tape again, and Dad was really uh, comfortable. And he looked at me several times throughout the taping, and he said, this is, this is good. This is good. Now, my father was not a man who uh, enjoyed the delays of television. You know, he used to say, television is hurry up and wait, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so he would always be saying things like, well, if you're waiting for me, you're wasting time, you know, things like that, right. you know? We're gonna get going, we're gonna get going. That was how he was. And that day, it wasn't like that. He was enjoying and resting in the, the, the atmosphere of God's will. And that struck me. Now, I can see that now. Yeah. And so then, that night, of course, when he, uh, when he left, the last thing I saw, or he went, he gave his uh, mother, 93 old, her birthday gift a week early. And then he had a clean bill of health on Tuesday, and then he went home and had dinner with his two adopted children. Uh, and he said, I'm having some trouble, and in three seconds he was gone. Now, of course, it's a shock to us, but now afterwards, I've got to stay there, I've got to make plans. I didn't have anybody to preach for me at the church and so on, so I called up and I said, to my associate, I need somebody to preach. He said, you already have somebody. You booked him six months ago. And then it was one event after the other, Jim. What struck me was this, that it could have been very tragic. It could have been um, a lot of things uh, that were unplanned, but God had designed the moment. That final day was as designed as the day he was born. And God designed that moment so that later we would look back and understand that heaven is about gaining something, not losing anything. 